48 Hours is investigating the wrongful conviction of a Missouri man. You've heard part of this story before. In February, Lamar Johnson was exonerated for a murder he didn't commit. Uh, he had spent nearly three decades in prison after a witness picked him out of a police lineup. That witness, Greg Elking, says he was pressured by law enforcement. Erin Moriarty has been covering this case since 2021, and for this week's 48 Hours, she spoke with Elking for the first time. Here's an early look at her report. Why didn't you tell somebody? What kept Lamar Johnson going during his final days in prison was the hope that he would be set free in time to walk his youngest daughter, Kiara, down the aisle at her wedding. In April 2023, that dream came true. In February, in a St. Louis courtroom, a judge set that dream in motion when he overturned Johnson's murder conviction. <laughs> After 28 years behind bars, he was more than a free man. Lamar Johnson had been exonerated for the murder of his friend, Marcus Boyd. I am a free man, an exonerated man, and uh, a blessed man. Johnson had been fighting to clear his name since 1995, when he was convicted largely on the word of this man. Greg Elking had identified him as one of the shooters who took Boyd's life as he sat on his front porch. These guys, they had completely dark clothing and they had masks on. Could you really identify these men? No, I couldn't identify him. Yet Elking says he was pressured by investigators to identify Lamar Johnson after he was told Johnson was dangerous and that his own life could be in danger. Elking became the star witness at trial. Did it occur to you that you might have put an innocent man yes, behind bars? Without a doubt, because I lied on the testimony. Why didn't you tell somebody? Why didn't you say because I think? Because nobody talks to me. Nobody. Who am I going to tell? But years later, he sent this letter to a clergyman admitting he had lied. That admission, in part, would launch an investigation by St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kimberly Gardner and lead to Johnson's freedom. It's devastating for me that this man has spent 28 years in prison for a crime he did not commit. Oh, boy. Yes. Aaron Moriarty joins us now. Aaron, good morning. I think it's devastating for anybody who believes in law and justice to hear that mm -hmm. somebody who's wrongly convicted for 28 years and that the person who put him there uh, was pressured to do so, according to him, anyway. Well, yes. And, I mean, it's it was eye-opening for me. Um, it took a lot to get him to sit down because he didn't want to admit publicly. But then when he finally did the right thing last December hmm. and testified for Lamar, I think he wanted to explain why. Yeah. Um, in part, as, as you I'd just like saw... I'd like to know why he lied at 28 years and you know that that man is innocent. He's sitting behind bars. How do you live with yourself with that information? Well, and he says he had a very difficult time. But think back then, he's the only eyewitness. He sees his friend get shot executed, really. Yeah. He tells the police over and over again, this is his story, that he didn't see a face, and he tells me that today. He has no idea who those two guys were. And the police then say, hey, this we know who it is. Right. At least that's his story. The mm -hmm. detectives deny that. And that your life could be in danger. Mm. But what was chilling for me is that Elkin admitted to me in the interview that he never really looked at him until he was about to point him out at trial. Mm. And then he realized really? that Innovative. Lamar was lighter skinned than the guys he wow. saw. And that's why I said, why didn't, why didn't you tell somebody? Yes. And he, just, he had been, you know, in the witness protection program. They gave him. Was he paid? Oh, yeah. Paid. He got cash. Mm -hmm. um, he wow. had his outstanding warrants cleared. So many layers. It really is. So it's not black and white. I mean, literally, it's right. just, and that's what was so interesting about interviewing him. Wow. But I'm yeah. still thinking about wow. Lamar Johnson. And all right. Years. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Wow. All right, Aaron Moriarty, thank you very much. Uh, you can see Aaron's full report, Lamar Johnson standing in truth on 48 Hours tomorrow night at 10, 9 Central right here on CBS and Paramount Plus. You're going to want to tune in. We'll be right back.